could be fair if he doesn't have uh, if he doesn't have miss next games as well. It doesn't look like he does. He's only level sixteen coach. That's good. He does have a mighty bull claw guy and a blodge warrior madman. Seven zero one. The claw mighty blow could be a problem, couldn't it? Just gotta get a big. Nineteen hundred TV. Holy shit, Ducky. Yeah, it is famous last word, isn't it? Because he's seven. He's won seven with chaos. That's pretty good. And he's got claw mighty blow. So yeah, level sixteen coaches. It's, it's it, it obviously it doesn't it doesn't always mean anything, but there's a chance of it meaning something, isn't there? So yeah, he's probably he's probably someone from Fumble or whatever, isn't he? Ramsey Bolton Academy. <laughs> okay. Journeyman on the line. Mind blow protected. T-star player point guy protected. We're just going to get wrecked by this claw mighty blow guy, I imagine, just to cast every turn. Concede. See, I've beaten him three times already. It's all good. Exactly, yeah, exactly, Sir Glitch. If, of course he could be. Of course he could. That's the thing, isn't it? You just don't know. However... He certainly, you know, it, as a guideline, you would rather play a level one coach than a level twenty coach, wouldn't you? That's that's just. Yeah. That's just it. No way, are they, are they, are they, does, does he have a team like that? Wow. Wow, that's pretty funny, isn't it? What a, what a blood bowl bad man, indeed. P. Diddy. I don't think there's as much I can do, really, is there? Get away from the block guys. It's about as much as I can do. Crazy, a bit like a bit like Fash, <laughs> a bit like Fash against Luca.
He might have to blitz a loner here, might he? Well, not have to, but might want to. One, two, three, four, five, six. He can get safe, I guess, if he blitz a non loner. But easier to blitz a loner, isn't it? Classic. Got to go for the uh, the higher payoff hit, haven't I? Due to not being able to hit a beast man. Wouldn't have broken anyway. You should be safe from the claw a bit. Standing him up when he's already stunned. <laughs> BLGF. It is a late stream with Crazy Lima. The title should be late stream. The doctors, I had to go to the doctors about uh, about about my toe. Why didn't he push into a block? Another block. Um, yeah, he could have done, couldn't he? This warrior. No reason if he's not going to move the warrior. Yeah. Well, he lets me stand up. Uh, stand up the guy, doesn't he? That was nice of him. Look at this fucking elf screen. What the fuck? Hoo -hoo -hoo! Get banged on! Murdered him. Protect the uh, warriors.
<laughs> it was toenail related, Pedro. The ass cancer thing, there's no cure for, basically. I'm just fucked with that. Unfortunately. <laughs> this is a tactical masterclass, this. <laughs> he blitzes a guy, push him. I blitz a guy, push him. <laughs> He's made quite the commitment over there, hasn't he? But he's still left kept all this so I can't really um, go crazy trying to get him one two three four five could just blitz with him actually blitz with him and then I can get back safe even though obviously I'd want the uh, I'd want the Kaz on the warrior Take us so we can get back both terrified, I guess so. I just think at Lord TV I'm glad I'm fine with him not making progress basically. I'm down players as well. If I was to make a you know, a stun or a removal maybe I could play more aggressively but I'm fine with delaying the playing aggressively when he's got the core mighty blow. And, he, and he's obviously fine trading an armor 7 blitz against an armor 8 blitz, isn't he? removals for him and claw not required either time
Well, lemon is good. You say that. But if a Chaos Warrior dies, the apple would fail anyway. We all know this. <laughs> we all just fucking know that the apple fails anyway. Every time I save it for a perm, somebody just fucking dies anyway. So I'm done fucking saving it for perms. Could surf a warrior here, couldn't I? Um, without too much difficulty. Three plus to get him out of the way and then blitz in. Push him there and surf. Wouldn't be too crazy. And um, though the sheep does say don't do any surfs, that is true. Could just blitz him with mighty blow, then block him. And then block him, then reinforce. I guess that's probably the, the what Fash would do. What would Fash do? That is the safer place, isn't it? One, two, three, four. And then just five. And then 2D him. And then 2D one of these. Could maybe even chain him off. Oh, him, him going in there seems pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can go there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so we can go there. Push him back. Pretty good turn. <laughs> Lost a reroll, did nothing. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, I mean, if I stop him scoring here, which is obviously the dream, then there's then he's only 50 50 to come back, isn't he? At best, he's 75, or at worst, he's 75% to come back, if you like. So I think I needed the numbers on the, on the pitch and. Yeah, Kaz might happen later, and the Apple might work on it, but, you know, I've had so many fucking deaths into death, like, every time, in fact, every time, with the last two Chaos team, this Chaos team, and the previous Chaos team, every time, a positional got permed, the Apple failed, without, without fail, so what's the fucking point of saving it for the, for the positionals, you know, well, not positionals, more skilled players. Hello, Lil Baz. I could just do it 
learnt skills good nights. Makes a bit cleaner. Toilet duck is ducky. Oh, I don't know. Oh, he's getting blocked back right there, which is interesting, unless he dodges. Oh, he makes the dodge. I fucking hate shitheads like that. I've never fucking ever... Do you know what? Every, I tell you what now, this is a bit of a tangent. Every time I fucking play Necro, they make dumbass blitzers with their fucking werewolves where they have to fucking dodge and have, have to follow up and have to dodge away. And they fucking make the dodge every single fucking time. <sighs> And so does this cunt. Oh yeah, well done to an intake block. Brilliant. Right, I could blitz him, then block him, then block him. So I can surf. That, that, th this guy gets surfed easily, doesn't he? Um... He hasn't done much there, has he? Right, so I just need this assist in here. I mean, maybe I could make a double serve. You know, some, some fucking sexier way. No, I just feel like taking the pound now. No, I can't. I can't do it. Unbelievable. Outrageous, sir. Not particularly fond of that fall. I didn't have to either, because although he had a defensive assist, I had two assists, didn't I? So I didn't have to follow there. That was a pretty bad follow, probably. He's going to get blocked, and then he's going to get blocked. And then he's going to get blitzed or something. Quite like where these are though. Maybe he could go here. I have to have somebody there to stop the surf because he can easily knock these two guys down. But maybe he stops it. I'd rather that Lona was knocked down there, wouldn't I? Knocks him down, knocks him down. He knocks him down to there. Pushes him to there, blitzes him to there. He's getting surfed, isn't he? Putting a guy in doesn't really save anything. Save something. Shouldn't have followed, that was a bad follow. Fuck. I can slam the warrior in there, but then I need somebody back to back to cover. Right. I can probably serve him now as well. Fuck it. Maybe I shouldn't have thought about this. I was thinking, I don't know. you got to think about stopping and scoring, but then you got to think about getting surfing counts first, haven't you? <laughs> I 
only 40 he was only 40 so I, the, the the babe that i got is actually it was a uh, yeah, actually 66 percent they get that guy back so yeah i guess he's got he's gonna struggle he might have to switch it so that's why i wanted the the strength four stopping the switch like the warrior i did want the warrior out there stopping the switch a little bit but yeah he has only got two turns after this hasn't he No, now now he can't get the surf anyway. Blocked himself for that assist, didn't he? So it was worth sticking in that warrior, definitely. Mits his warriors in there. That was the thing. If if I'd had the warrior there, I could have just two died that guy, couldn't I? Well, this is a one dice blitz. Good. Double score. You deserve it. Yes. Oh, hey. Oh, 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 eh? oh, 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 wow. Fucking hell. The punish. The punish is real. Outrageous. Right. So could two D him, then two D him, and then could. Try to surf him, that would be nice, wouldn't it? And keep boxing him in there is good, isn't it? It's only a one dice if I get the uh Even if I get the assistance it's only a one dice, isn't it? But then if I got the push on him I could surf him. Got two turns. He can. He's going to be a struggle, isn't he? I mean, all of his players can score because he's got two turns. Like I could just blitz him, block him, block him, block him. Maybe that's the play. Yeah, it is the play, isn't it? No surfs. Just make two dice blocks. A good boy. I could have blitzed the ball, couldn't I? If this is a pal. Alright, no, wasn't. Oh shit, I need to keep this guy back now, don't I? So he can surf the warrior, but then that doesn't get him through, does it? Guess I should have done that block earlier, though, because if it had been a pow, one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, sack him would have been good, wouldn't it? Still time for both teams to score, really. If he, if he does something stupid or rolls bad dice, there's half a chance, isn't there, with three GFIs to score. I 
I blitzed at the start with a bot guy. Sextus Bones. Made a block blitz instead of a one dice non block blitz to get us a uh, two dice with block instead of one dice without. So I thought that was a. You know, obviously the payoff was huge with surfing a warrior, but still. He is getting the gym, gym pals, isn't he? Now he's going to struggle to score. Now he's really struggling to score, isn't he? I mean, if he doesn't do anything now, I can I can get the Knorring threat up, can't I? Ah, he's going to do the surf. No, he's not. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah it's, it's safe and fun environment, halflings or goblins. I'd go, uh... I'd go goblins, I guess. They're more fun. Oh, that's how he scores, look. The wrestle, the one dice wrestle. And then the potato. But I mean, it's an, un <laughs> it's an unprotected potato, isn't it? He might run more risk of getting scored on if he, if he makes the potato play. Foul. Can't blitz the ball with block without any any dodge or anything can I so I guess he one dice powers me but even then it's just two dice to get that would be the dream wouldn't it TLC I guess <laughs> I don't even need a GFI to hit him. He does get the one dice pal. But I can still two dice block him. For a push. And then two dice on the ball. Three dice with a reroll. Two dice with a reroll, even the block. Got him. Go for the throw in because it could be alright, couldn't it? You never know. If he goes and gets to there, and he can go one, two. Three, four, five, six. G if I get him. So I don't want to go with the loner though. But the loner can get all the way up to there, and he could get based there. So you have to go one, two, three, four, five. G if I, G if I. So you couldn't. Really, the the loner can get safe. 
Oh, it's not even a loner. All oh, right, well that's easier then, isn't it? Hmm. I do. I just move him out there first. I guess he technically has a chance to score. Oh no, I can't tag him. Fuck. Oh yeah, that the guy who was down was the, the guy who was down was gonna go and get it and pass it. Oh well, that's fuck the sideline run then. And go one away. Probably best just to do the four plus pass than two GFIs. Give him the ball instead, so he can just uh, he can just dodge out and long bomb it. Maybe I should have just held it, eh? Maybe I should have just held it. Giving him a chance. <laughs> Giving him a chance with that incomplete pass. Maybe I should have just held it. Holding it stops the score for sure. Yeah, held it and then just moved him, yeah. But I mean, if I hold it, then I can't hold it here. I'd have to hold it like there, but I couldn't reach there, here or something. Could have just held it there and ran him down. Ah. Surely, surely there's a there's a fucking surfing way to go here. I guess only only get to surf one. Blitz him, push him to there, to there, then block him, push him to there, and then yeah. I don't know why I thought. I don't know why I thought best for goals alone. Don't even need the extra assist. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can't make it nine. All right. Yeah, oh, brilliant. Yeah, jump toes, but it, the opening would have been harder, wouldn't it? So it's not it's not a definitive thing to say, but yeah, obviously, like it would have been safer to have just try to protect the ball that turn, get a scoring threat out there, and then I would have had less chance of him scoring, wouldn't I? And still a chance to score in the end. Um, right. So as, thanks to that Apo, I still have the full eleven for the second half. And might actually get an advantage with the mighty blow hits on the LOS. Stranger things have happened. T 
turkey if I got wants to get a touchdown for sure. I could fucking click. It would be alright. Hmm. He has to go on the other west, doesn't he? One, two, three, four, five to protect himself. Heavy commitment to the line. A blitz isn't going to be able to do too much anyway, is it really? Oh wow. <laughs> Thank you, Rock. Also, this positioning, him, him having his wine, wine lied. Wine, oh well, my god, line wide like that meant that I could put my four blocking men um, so that if one of them got removed, I could still get them, which was good, wasn't it? I still do, I still think I want to maximize. Um, I think this is the way to do it, isn't it? This is uh, extreme, extreme chaos here. Four assists. <laughs> oh, you cunt. Fucking mighty blow, man. I'll oh, just imagine I failed to pick up. Might actually get an advantage of the two mighty blow hits on the LOS, yeah. Or maybe just waste a fucking reroll. At least I got the pickup though. <sighs> I don't know, Lemon is good. Still managed to stop his drive though. Despite probably not even breaking armor. Well, the reason you made that the mighty blow was. Because he was on 12 when he got his first skill. That was the thing. I leveled him to 7 and he got MVP. So he's on 12 when he got his when he got his first uh, first fucking skill. So, you know, because... Yeah, yeah, the only armor break was the rock. Yeah, that's true. And that probably is the only... Maybe got a stun, but I don't think so. I don't think I've got a single stun in this game. But still stopped him scoring. Despite going down to 9 guys on his drive. So... He should feel... He didn't even blitz the mighty blow guy. What a man. I, mean, I guess he's got caught, hasn't he? But still. This way he's in contact with the block player. No, no doubt he'll try to dodge and succeed. Absolute fuckhead. He had, he had this guy to blitz, didn't he? He just didn't do it. I thought to myself, when I got that push, I thought, fuck, that, that exposed the mighty blow. I wasn't even smart enough to go for him. Doesn't matter. Fucking makes his fucking dodge away. Like every time. Yeah, of course he'll just make his fucking three plus dog, man. Fucking, I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> I fucking hate it.
Did he stun himself with a double skull? Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. That's right. That's Frogman. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Fucking hell. Um, so I think just Blitz with Block is better, seeing as all our role is Gym Pals. Now this is where I roll an eight on the armor, right? No. Three on one is alright, isn't it? Because then he's got to commit some resources to deal with that if he wants to deal with it. <laughs> oh, the IP code. Oh. Should just first skill DP. Nah, if, I don't know if you know what a Jim Foul is, a crazy lemur, but it's a, it's a stunning to send off, or maybe just a not even armor breaking to send off. <sighs> Yeah, they haven't missed any any games. This is still the first game because of the the toe the toe situation. He's going all mans. I mean, that's kind of what he had to do if he wanted to deal with those three guys. Maybe I shouldn't have encouraged him to do it, but never mind. Another blitz and dodge. Is that what it's going to be? Or is he just going to hit the uh, loner? He's gonna blitz and dodge again. Fucking hell. Burp, burp. Base, base, base. This will fail. Classic away. blitz and dodge. Burp, burp, burp. Does my nut in. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> oh, he's not dodging. Oh, he's just getting hit by block then. Alright, interesting. Interesting strategy, Cotton. This is a full manzing, isn't it? Shit. I can't, I can't even get assists over here. So I think the play is to knock these two bastards down and make a bit of headway over there. And I'm ready for the potato time. Yeah, 
And I just leave all these because then he's he might have to he might one in nine. And, you know he's got his guys on the wrong side now, hasn't he? A little bit. Jinta. Yeah, I know. I know he could get Kaz's every hit as well, Jam Tolls. Like like that other guy did. Do you remember the Skaven that had Claw Mighty Blow and he just like, he made about fucking, he made like 13 blocks in the game and, and got like 11 Kaz. <laughs> so I guess he could do that. But he doesn't have blocks, so it's it's less likely. And uh, I just I just piss off that, it just pisses me off that they don't need to make these dodges, you know. He could have just blitzed somebody else and not have to make that dodge. That that's what pisses me off and they're never punished. You know, that, that's the thing, I mean. No, no toes removed today, don't they, Carlos? Uh, but uh, I, I got, I got, a, I got an antiseptic dressing. There you go, from my big, my big toe. He is a little bit exposed, and I'm in scoring range. I don't really want to score early, but I think it's good to be not in scoring range. But you know what I mean, like threatening of the, it to be in scoring range next turn. I think is important there because I might have to score if it goes south. It was given was given away blocks, wasn't it? He gets to blitzer rookie. How did the butt X-ray go? Did they clear you of us cancer? No, us cancer is still pre prevalent, unfortunately. Sneaky <laughs> got dialysis. <laughs> well, that's good. That keeps him occupied. He hasn't rolled any one in nines, has he? Unfortunately, I was hoping. Oh, he, he probably will on the block guy now. This isn't. He hasn't got an assist here. Though. Could surf that warrior. It's looking, it's looking possible to surf that warrior, isn't it? Oh, you fuckhead! <laughs> Holy shit! Not looking possible to surf him anymore, really. Not only did he not one in nine, he also fucking made a dodge, uh, just another dodge, just to rub it in. This is in one dice power, I guess. Right, well, you can block him first of all. Can do that without thinking. No, well, I shouldn't. I mean, that's the obvious thing, isn't it? You make an irrelevant block without thinking. I want to block him with an assist, get an assist in there. Maybe just blitz there. Safe moves first. Because it could be quad skull, couldn't it? If I push these two guys out to here, then he could go one, two, three, four, five, six, get the assist in there, then he could just blitz him maybe. Let's move him to there. And then do this. I could blitz his. I could blitz his. Uh, claw mighty blow now, couldn't I? <laughs> I wouldn't hate it. Hmm. 
Good job I moved away so that he wasn't pinned, or didn't give away a block. I'm gonna go back a little bit now. Hey, finally! An armor break! <laughs> He's fucking apples it! <laughs> fucking shithead! Oh man! He might want in nine, plus it makes makes him get the assist in, doesn't it? And I'm gonna go for the one dice here, no reroll. Might as well do it. Brilliant skull. <laughs> A fucking armor break. Ten fucking twelve. And he apples it. <laughs> ah! Okay, <laughs> now. Christmas came early. Oh, fucking hell, Kane doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't expect they'd both be pals, you know. I was expecting they'd be pushers and that would get me the assist on a, just on a mighty blow hit, but it worked out quite well, yeah, accidentally. <laughs> oh, why we didn't even get an assist on that block? Maybe I shouldn't have made that one dice, but I thought if I don't make it, make it I might get surf mine. Oh, that was a thing. Uh oh, that's pretty bad. So maybe I should have kept him in contact with him so that he couldn't have blitzed the warrior, but didn't get the power anyway. Oh, they, that, that, that KO would have been him. He fucking does it again! Are you shitting me? Are you fucking shitting me? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh, man. <laughs> Ooh, right. This is a loner block. Into a mighty blow blitz. Into assisting and then blocking him that down. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Instead, I've just fucked myself. Quite committed here now. This is quite a nice block to take, isn't it? Free, free two dice with block achieves nothing. I think I just have to go here and then blitz with the guy using contact. Getting down the nitty gritty now. Three turns, two re rolls. All conflicts and milk. 
Could push up the left. Hmm. I don't know. I think the fact that he had that warrior to stand up, it was a good apo in the end because if he if if that warrior had been gone, then the push down the left would have been pretty good. Also, if these been knockdowns instead of pushes, would have also been good. This is a good turn here from him. Jesus fucking Christ! I mean, have a man advantage on that side at least, though he's. But then he's freed up a play. Although he's freed up one of his, he's also freed up one of mine, hasn't he? So. And that was a huge, huge stun actually. Just standing him up it would have made him block, wouldn't it? Now he gets both these in the mixer next turn. Uh, basing his killer with like a shithead because it does dictate the blitz, doesn't it? Much, much like basing the ball. <laughs> do have a do have a handoff threat as well. To be fair, it is a handoff slash passing threat, isn't it? Could just hand off and score if he doesn't base him. Huge one dies if he goes for this. Likely to be a both down. Staring at the screen for too long, don't even need to. Do another dodge. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> Alright, the push push is acceptable. Okay, so we wanna wanna block him. Blitz, blitz him, block him. Get an assist in here, block him. It's not easy though, is it? Fucking push. Oh. That is a killer.
Ooh. Big cars. Never mind a stone. The cars. Understood. Like, obviously, it's horrible to one dice here. Um, but I want to. But then, obviously, if, if he's just blocking him, he's not blocking anyone else, is he? So, can make a really strong push next turn. It's just a shame that that guy got stunned, because that would have stopped somebody, wouldn't it? But still, that stun's pretty big, hopefully. Santa just give you a full sack, bitch. <laughs> I should have looked. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to have to use a real one in three duo with the two critical turns left. Stun's pretty big. Having it, having a strength three guy stuck in a strength three guy is is actually fine for me now, isn't it? Being up players. Might actually be able to get forward next turn. I pretty much have to go the full six, both turns, and to not to score without GFIs. Push there would have been very good, wouldn't it? We'll just take another action. And maybe two actions if, it, you know, he could have pushed him into there and then pushed him into there and then another block. But never mind. Oh, if, if only it were that easy, Lemon is good. It would be glorious. I mean, if, if, the first, if this had been a knockdown, then, um,. Then there was some. I was thinking there was some way of getting an assist here to two dice him. I wouldn't want to one dice him because it's just too risky, isn't it? You also the fact that you get you free up the claw mighty blow if you fail, and you get fucking hit by him as well. It's just I quite like him getting based on Jilly three, like on a string three guy there. If he moves the guy down to assist to block him, then it's it's two players pretty much not doing anything. He uses his blitz. That's fine. Yeah, he paid for it with his life, but never mind. No, only badly hurt. Good. Like, obviously, I could have just rolled a one dive pal. And then he would have had less movement, but still, he would have still done the same action, wouldn't he? Well, Morgans, yeah, that would be the biggest payoff, obviously, get the claw on him, but. Um, I think it's definitely better to. Not roll dice if I don't have to. Oh, that stun last turn is a killer, though, isn't it? It gets him, gets him to move both those guys away. Obviously, he's not going to fail any dice rolls. He's had like the, the fucking turn of his dreams here, hasn't he? Wow, re rolling the boat down. Is there just a way through here? If I power him, then there's just a literal way through here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so just block him first. Oh, there's this. This is his guy. 
No, it's meant to be Why hasn't he got a round circle like the others? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can get the full six forward there. So. I guess I should have stood that guy up first. That's all he was ever going to do. He can go there. He's a journeyman though, isn't he? That, that's the problem. Two GFIs to there would, would make it a full cage, but he's a journeyman. If I put the guys out to there, he's just a dodge to two dice me unless I make those GFIs. But then it's just, you can just put him in. No, it's not even. Maybe he should have gone a square further forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. I guess it's not that easy. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so maybe maybe just put him there. Maybe that's good enough. Dodge, one, two, three, four, five, six, double. Dodge and double GFI to one dice and stuff. I guess it's not that bad, is it? Well, I could just go there, one to there, and it's a dodge to here. And that's that's only one GFI, isn't it? Yeah, I guess that's better. <laughs> Double wand it. <laughs> that was disappointing. After making the correct call to just GFI once, because it was safer. Like, what one did, did the job, didn't it? Two would have obviously completed the cage, but one actually... After making, after realising that one was good enough, just double won it. Double GFI, and then it's uh, now it's a dodge for a two dice on the ball. <sighs> oh, half a chance, half a chance. Shit, one in four. Hey, <laughs> all right. 
glory ass. Unbelievable, Jeff. Looking dodge, dodging bastard. Right. There's got to be a way here, hasn't there? Um, I expect. All right, make this block. Make this a relevant block first. Okay, so, so assuming this is a pal, he comes in there to here. He goes there. He blitzes him, pushes him out to there, and then he can block with two assists. Hmm. Blitzing him would be good, but it's I can't get the assist unless I put in two guys here. Block him for a push. And then he could blitz him for a push. Four, five, six. Yeah, that's the way, isn't it? That's the way. Alright, let's see what he said. Oh, that's nice of him, isn't it? GG, Jim. Far too good for me. Thanks, GG. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Trying to confuse you by being there. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, there wasn't wasn't really a chain push out though, because he was blood. So there wasn't really a chain push out. There wasn't a chain them off. There wasn't a chain. It wasn't a simple chain push. I don't think there's a simple chain push there. Um, at all. I don't think it was too simple at all, actually. Um, yeah. One for the YouTubes, that. Um, I don't think that was a simple, simple, simple chain at all, because he's blood, right? So there would be a good chance of just pushing, so then I had to be able to block him again afterwards. And I didn't have the assists there to be able to block him again afterwards. So... I don't think it. I don't think there was. I could be wrong. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think it was easy to get two dice on him with it. With it. With it after chaining the ball carrier. Yeah, and it was two dice. It was two blocks. But it potentially it would have been one if you'd got the power on the first one. But I just don't think it was easy to get the assists in for the second block on him. If you'd pushed him. We can have a look on it, but I, that that obviously, yeah, I would. I mean, I considered it. You saw that I considered it, didn't you? You wouldn't change the ball carrier. Oh yeah, chain the warrior, chain the other warrior. Hmm, maybe, maybe that would have been good then. Yeah, that would have been the right play then. Yeah, obviously, because there'd be the chance of the power. I I didn't think. I, to be, I'll be honest. I'll hold my hands up. Tunnel vision. Tunnel vision. Um, I'll hold my hands up there. Yeah, I was only thinking of chaining the carrier. But yeah, it could have chained the other warrior away. And it might have been possible to get two dice, yeah. It was still better though, isn't it? Still better. One less block needed is is, is just strictly better. So while it wasn't a big difference, if, if if that would have worked, if it would have led to another two dice, then um then yeah, it is a big difference. It's one of the 
crucial critical differences, isn't there? Because pretty much everything in Blood Bowl is situational and not and just murky, isn't it? Like, would it be was it better to get the scoring threat out first before doing the pass? There's plus, there's pros and cons to everything, isn't there? But the one turn when there isn't really the one time there isn't really pros and cons is what gives you the strictest you know, best mathematical chance of scoring on turn eight or sixteen. And then and then there is really only one player to go for and that would have been the chain because there was thirty percent chance of the power and not having to make the second block. So yeah. If I if I, if it worked, if it if it would have been the two dice on the second one then yeah absolutely that was that was the better play. And it was definitely a misplay if it was possible to get the two dice after. But I, I didn't even see because I was thinking of chaining the carrier out, and then it was hard to get the, it was hard to get the. Uh, well, only one can die in the LOS because because of two loners. Thanks God. <laughs> that's the yeah. Uh, that's the advantage of having a murdered team. Should have made that one free dice, shouldn't he? Well, in fact, should have made the claw one a free dice. Yeah, and maybe people would have died if I had used the apple on the badly hurt. If I hadn't used the apple on the badly hurt. Because then would have only had 10 men on offense. And then, um, you know, he might have might have swamped us more and might have had to make a one dice instead of a two dice. Might have double scold it. Or whatever. But yeah, things like up that apple, you can't just say that. You can't say that apple was good or bad. Even if somebody ended up dying later, you just literally can't, can you? Because it's just it's just up to your call. Whereas stuff like that chain, I just didn't I didn't even think of not chaining the carrier. I just thought of chaining. I only thought of chaining the carrier. That is that is a that is what it's like playing, isn't it? You know, like if I was watching, I would have seen the chain and the warrior out, if it was possible. But um, playing, I just think I can chain the chain the ball carrier no. well we can buy Pan Orgos even though he's got a shit name just because you know he's on 5 star player points got 150k um, his claw mighty blow is the MVP for doing absolutely diddly squat got 5 armor breaks in the end he hadn't done anything to be fair although I was whining about his dodging away after blocking he wasn't killing anyone was he Apart from the first block. So no levels. But. A win. And uh, he's so close now isn't he Mr. Throw. So close to getting a claw mighty blow on the team. And got a five star player point guy. Even though he's got a shit name. And Turkey Fagos halfway there. Uh, so not, not a bad result. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.